Shade Night Show. I am super happy to have you here today. So come on in, come on in and get in where you fit in because I've always got room right around my table for you, your friends, and your frenemies. So go ahead, like, share, start a watch party, run and tell somebody that Lotus for Shade Nights is hot on the box. I'm going to encourage you, grab your notebook and grab your pen because I always say no takers are money makers and no takers are change makers. Welcome back to the show. It's the midday, the midday groove with the Lotus Roche Ignite show. I am your host, Lotus Roche, and I am happy to say that God has blessed me to see another day, and I'm super happy to be in a number again. So tonight and today, my friend, we are going to talk about the lymphology in me. Yep, make your lymphatic system work for you. That's what we're talking about. So go ahead, like, share, start a watch party, like, share, start a watch party. Send this out to people that you care about. Why? Because caring is sharing. And most people don't even know what the lymphatic system is, what it's made up of and how it works in the body. And you know how I know that? Because there was a time that I did not know until the queen of the lymphatic bounce, Miss Hillary Gooden, came into my life and told me, Lolo, you got to have more bounce to the ounce because it will get your lymphatic system moving and working for you. And so today I'm going to share with you how your lymphatic system can work for you. It's like a one, two, three, easy peasy, if you know what to do. And you know, a lot of people say knowledge is power. Well, I beg to differ. Knowledge is not power unless you put it into action. And so today, like I always say, get your notepad, friend, and get a pen. And now some people, y'all got them pens, like I've had them pens that give out, get two pens. Don't get one, get two. And if one and two won't do, get a third one. So you know that you know that you can take them note because no takers are money makers, but also Note takers are change makers and you want to make some changes in your life for better health. You want to get some plans that's going to really help you help yourself to ignite and take flight in the lymphatic system of your life. So look, I got a great show for you today. I got a great lady coming up. She is the queen of the lymphatic bounce. She is a global trainer, a global teacher, global speaker, global author that's helping you help yourself to ignite and take flight in what? The lymphology of your life. So I'm gonna go backstage, I'm gonna get her and you come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Yeah, y'all remember that pop lock? Oop, yep, yep, yep. Y'all come on in and get in where you fit in because I got plenty of room all around my table for you. So come on in, like, share, start a watch party, run and tell somebody, and we'll be right back. Who's blessed? I'm blessed. I ain't taking no mess. I'm with my girl, Hillary Good, and the queen of the lymphatic bounce, and we're gonna get down with the get down and let you know all about how to get your lymphatic system to work for you. If it's not working, it's broken. So it's time to fix it. Lymphology and me. Get your lymphatic system to work for you. It's that time to ignite and take flight. Let's go. Hey, Hill. Hey, hey, hey. hey how you doing? I'm doing great. I wanted to put my hands up. Got my, wait a minute. I got my notepad. That's what I'm talking about. You come ready. You got yeah. your notepad and pen, even though you're going to be giving out a lot of information today yourself. But we know that most of our viewers from all over the world, they come so prepared. Many of them, they text me. Some of them send me, you know, information. Hey, I got my notepad and pen. I took this note. And it's really great because it's a way to help people all around the world to learn some of the things that they need to learn 
so that they can change the condition of their body. So Hillary, I'm super happy to have you here. And for those of you that may not know who my guest is, she is the remarkable Hillary Good, and she is the queen of the lymphatic bounce. She's an author, she's a speaker, she's a lymphologist, and she's a minister. And so with that being yep. said, <laughs> We're going to go right into it and let's get her in the hot seat. And so those of you that's coming in, thank you for joining us. We're going to pull you up on the screen in a minute. But while we're getting prepared to pull you up on the screen, go ahead, like, share, start a watch party, run and tell somebody that Lotus Roche is on a box with her friend, Miss Hillary Gooden, the queen of the lymphatic bounce. And today we are talking about the lymphology and me make your lymphatic system work for you. Because after all, you got dogs, you got birds, you got turtles, you got all kind of things that's living with you. You got family members living with you and they're not working for you. So you need your lymphatic system. <laughs> Something's got to work for you, right? Something's, Something's got to work, work for you. So Miss Hillary, can you tell us a little more about yourself because I know you talk to people, you help people all over the world. So can you tell people a little bit more about you and what you do? Well, I empower busy women leaders. And why busy women leaders? Because I am a busy woman leader and have been for a long time in different arenas. So I know what that's like to be under stress, anxiety, and have ended up having chronic conditions going on in your body because of the stress. And so I help people to help these people, these women, to activate and maintain a healthy lymphatic system in order to increase energy, clarity of mind, have better health, better sleep, boost their immunity and vitality, because I absolutely believe you've got the power to help your body, help you live a more vibrant <laughs> life. Say yes. it, Hillary. I love, I love how it. you I love how you um close that out. Um, it's just it's just so fitting. I love that. So those of you that's just meeting Miss Hillary Gooden for the first time, she's here and she's going to blow your mind as we talk about lymphology and me, make your lymphatic system work for you. So let's get right into it. I'm going to put her right in the hot seat right away. If y'all want her in the hot seat right away, you got your notepads, you got your pens, go ahead and put a number two in the comment block below. Put a number two. I want to see some twos. Hillary, you want to see some twos? Let's come on with the tools. Come on, let's see some tools, y'all. What what we got? We got Nikki Hammer up in this house. Scarlett is in this house. Baby Nero queen. is in this house. We got people from all Ooh. over the world jumping in here. We got Angela yeah, from hey, Washington, hey. D.C. jumping in. Go yeah, ahead and yeah. get some tools because we're going to do what we're going to do because we make it real on the wheels of still a life right? Because we about to tell you about your lymphatic system. And that's what I'm talking about. We got the tools coming in. They want you in the hot seat. They want to know the secret sauce. So we're going to give them some secret sauce. So let's get right into it. Miss Hillary, what is the lymphatic system? What is it? Well, the lymphatic system is part of your immune system. It's a major part of your immune system. And it is the part that it's there. It works not only, it doesn't work just by itself. It's what helps the rest of your systems to work as well. And so the lymphatic system uh, is there to help re remove toxins and, and different cellular waste that can get trapped. But the lymphatic system is there to cause those, those same things to not be, stay trapped. Right. So when your lymphatic system is working, you got a good thing going on. So the lymphatic system and its function is to help you to rid your body of stagnation of oh, toxins wow. and cellular waste. OK, so you actually answered our second question. Why is the lymphatic system important? Because I heard you say it helps to rid the body of stagnation, cellular waste and things of that nature. So what, what are the well, other also, reasons that it's important? Yeah, it's when you have this stagnation of cellular waste and toxins and, mm -hmm. and fluid from the bloodstream, mm -hmm. what ends up happening, you end up with inflammation. And, wow. and it's, when I say, when I mentioned that, that I help people with stress and anxiety and inflammation, sometimes even when I say it myself, I wonder do people <laughs> get the connection? And the connection is stress and anxiety can cause the body to go into a mode where it releases 
uh, fluids into from the bloodstream into your around your cells that can cause inflammation. Mm -hmm. So stress is the is like sixty percent of at the base of sixty percent or more of chronic illnesses in the United yeah. States. Yes, inflammation is a result of the the stress. You know they, they so these things are working together. So if you can reduce stress, you can yeah. help to reduce inflammation. You know the, awesome. the continuance of it. Awesome. You know, so awesome. Yeah. And so, so it's important. Mm -hmm. It's important to help reduce inflammation, which appears as swelling, you know, in your extremities. Yeah. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. So the inflammation can appear as swelling in the body. Yeah, and right? and then again, it can appear. It, it, it can the. It's just like the air. Mm -hmm. You know, we know there's air, but we don't. The wind with the wind. We know there's the wind, but you don't. See the wind. You see the effects of effects the wind. of it, right? It's the same thing with inflammation. In some cases, where you, there's no swelling going on, but right. there's inflammation going on. Right, right. You know, so, with some different. So I like I like how you put that. Okay, even if there's not swelling, apparent swelling, there still could be inflammation in the body Absolutely. that causes. Uh, different levels of disease because we were on a show uh, news you could use last night and we talked about uh, different free radicals in the body and how they are linked to disease and how it's yes. critically important to boost our immune system so that we prevent these levels of disease so that we can get back to an area of homeostasis. And I yes. thought that was really important. That was a key um, thing that you talked about, the importance of boosting your immune system last night. So with that being said, uh, we're going to talk about a couple of things that you shared yesterday about things that are good for the, for the body uh, to decrease inflammation, decrease mucus, and support the lymphatic system. So we've talked about what the lymphatic system is, and we basically share with people an overview of what the lymphatic system looks like and how it's connected to people. You've also talked about why it's important. And now let, let me ask you this, how can we make it work for you? How can we make it work for people out there? The important, the most important thing to, to understand about the lymphatic system is, is for me to compare it to the blood system. Right. The blood. We know that our blood circulates through our body. Mm -hmm. Our lymphatic system has lymph fluid mm -hmm. that's clear that right. runs through the body. So the the blood. We know that the heart is continually pumping. Right. We're just sitting here. We're watching each other do this broadcast. You're watching us do this broadcast, mm -hmm. and all of our hearts are pumping. Nothing right. that we're doing. We're not plugged up to anywhere, but they're pumping. They're pumping the blood away from the heart back to the heart. Right. And that's going on all day, even while yes. you sleep. Yes. The lymphatic fluid, the lymph fluid, it needs to be pumped through the body. It only right. pumps, it only comes up, comes through the body in one direction, upward. The problem right. is the lymphatic fluid does not have a pump. You are the pump. Your movement right. causes the lymphatic fluid to come up through the check valves. Every time when, when you're walking or you're doing some types of exercise, even just breathing will help it. But the, the issue there is a lot of people don't breathe properly. So that's a whole nother story. But it causes the lymphatic vessels to uh, lymph check valves to open. Those check valves as they open, the lymph fluid can come up through the body and they activate the vessels that are acting as a vacuum, as you, if mm -hmm. you will, a vacuum mm -hmm. that vacuums out those excess trapped fluids and toxins right. and cellular waste away from your cells. Because mm -hmm. when that trapped situation is going on, oxygen is not able to penetrate and be in that area at an optimal level. Mm -hmm. Oxygen is the secret sauce. Right. Oxygen is what gives us life. You know, 
the blood, they say the, the life is in the blood. That's because the blood carries oxygen throughout the, right. our entire body to all of our organs, all of our cells. And so the, the lymphatic system works like a vacuum to vacuum out those, those trapped situations. And when that happens, that allows oxygen to rush in around those cells. Wow. And that's when you're having less pain or no pain, mm -hmm. more energy, brain fog, poof, you can think clear again, getting better sleep, deeper sleep, mm -hmm. restorative sleep. You know, when you wake up and you feel like you're, re you're restored and you're ready to go on with your day, you don't wake up tired like you went to bed tired. Yes. And they have that vitality. Nothing like vitality, just feeling younger, feeling, yeah. you know, the numbers yeah. keep going up, but you still feel young at heart. That's exactly. a beautiful thing. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a beautiful thing. When you wake up in the morning and you feel less fatigued, like I've been up since four o'clock in the morning. I probably got up, I probably woke up about something to something to four. Uh, and I, I just gave thanks just for being alive. I laid there for a minute and then I just got up. I got up because... I've realized that oftentimes when you're you're you wake up in that particular hour, um, some people call it the witching hour, but it's an hour oftentimes where your house is most still, where you have mm -hmm. the most moments of clarity. And I heard, um, I want to say it was um, it was Les Brown when he talked about the fact that. When you get up in the morning, your brain is like a sponge. And, and when and the first things you hear, your brain is so susceptible to those things when you first wake up in the morning. And that's one reason why I like to start off doing something positive. And like at five something this morning, I was sending out messages to certain people that I coach or um, they're my mentor, I'm their mentor or what have you, just to give them that extra loving nudge to get their day started because I, I've realized when my eyes are open in this time, I got to get up. But sometimes I would feel so fatigued. I would turn over. I would be like, nah, I don't want to get up. How many of you out there have had to get up for work or whatever, an appointment, and you just turn over and you hit the alarm? And then some people, they had their phones healed and they sleep with their phones in the bed, which is not a good thing. No, because it's because it's disturbing you all night. You're not getting any restful sleep. And then we're not even going to talk about um, the radiation, the if you will, that's coming yeah, off the, the phone. Electromagnetic field, yeah, the yeah. electromagnetic field that's coming off the phone. That's not good for your body. But I tell you, Hillary, you are spot on with what you said. You know, being able to have more energy, more sleep and less fatigue or no fatigue at all. Oh, mm -hmm. what a wonderful world. What a wonderful yes, world. Yes. <laughs> so, so I wanted to share with folks, you know, the lymphatic system itself is comprised of pretty much the things that you're seeing right here. And it, it consists of bone marrow. And so go ahead and get this, get, get your notepad and pen and write this down if you want to. And your bone marrow is a sponge like tissue found inside your bones. What else is, is connected to it, Hillary? Your white blood cells. Did you know that your white blood cells are made in your bone marrow? Did you know that? That's awesome. No. Your white blood cells are made in your bone marrow and then they're released out to the body. So you want to you want to have strong bones. You know, you want to have strong bones because that's where your white blood cells are generated. You know? It's it's just amazing the way God got this thing all figured out. <laughs> you know, now your white that, blood cells is what fight for you. Right, those are the, we were talking about it last night when you had those mm -hmm. intruders, yes, and intruders, yeah, viruses and stuff that get in the body one way or another. That God has set up a system in the body to look out for them and to, for them to fight for you. Those white blood cells, that's their job to circulate through the body, looking for intruders. They sort of like the, the police, the state police, the, the, the MP with the, with, with the MP, the military police. They mean serious yeah. business. Yeah. yeah. 
serious <laughs> business. So let me let me high and low. High and low. So <laughs> let me ask you this because I remember when my mom went into the hospital when they diagnosed her with cancer and they had given her um, chemotherapy. And of course, we got her off of that because, in my opinion, from the studies I've done personally and the studies that many of the physicians that I'm closely connected with have done, chemotherapy is not a good choice for many people because it's dumping poisons into the system. And for those who don't have a, a very strong immune system, oftentimes it yeah. is their demise. Now, what, what I realized was that when they gave my mother the second series of um uh, or the first series of chemotherapy, it caused her body. And she told the doctor, she said, you can't give me high doses of that because my body reacts to that in a negative way because I don't need a whole bunch of medicine. My mother, she's never needed a whole bunch of medicine. She's been very sensitive to high doses of medicine uh, to include like Tylenols and stuff like that. And so they, they said, well, you know, all our other patients... Uh, this works for all our other patients. And this is the problem that we see with physicians many times because we're given a license to practice medicine. We don't know it all. And I say we, because I, I do have a clinical uh, background. I'm not a, a licensed physician, but I say we. So just remember what I'm telling you. I'm not a medical licensed doctor, but I will tell you this, what I know emphatically is that when you dump any type of chemical into your body, it's a foreign agent. And our bodies, like you said earlier, are designed to fight against intruders. And so yes. what I found out when they gave this medicine to my mother, it dropped her white blood count so low. And, and so, something made her go to the hospital and she went and they wouldn't let her leave. And they treated her so terribly as an older black woman, I'm just going to say it, they told her, well, you can't leave. She picked up the phone. She called me. I was on the next plane smoking that morning home. And I got up there and talked to them to see what was going on. My mother could not move her bowels. Uh, they couldn't bring her blood count uh, back to normal. And so, of course, I took my, my natural herbs with me. I took Moringa. I took... Um, I took some some coffee made from um some regular coffee to help her move her bowels uh and of course it worked and i gave her a small piece of moringa seed and what marine what the moringa seed did was help her blood white blood count come back up to normal but what she told me is that she almost felt like she was having a heart attack and I was, she called me, I had left to go out to the store, no, to take my brother home, I think. And then she wanted me to stop and pick some up. And she called me and she told me how she was feeling. So I'm running in the hospital, I'm running in the hospital. And they're like, no, you can't, no, this is my mother. And I'm going up there and the doctor, doctor, he's in, he's in the room and I got him on camera because he would not help my mother. And I'm like, you got to do something. She's in pain. We, I, we had to call the police. And the police was like, you need a, a patient advocate. I got this doctor on videotape and I should have put it out there for it to go viral. But I don't I don't do business that way. But these are the things that people are facing when they don't understand how to use natural things to bring their blood levels up, to take care of their bodies, to prevent disease before they have to go in places where people are not at ease and in balance to help them with the disease. So um, I'm happy you talked about the white blood cells because that was something that I did not know uh, before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, the one thing that I have learned, and again, I'm not a medical doctor either, but what I, I know what I know. Mm -hmm. And what I what I understand about the body and cancer, and I know this is a very touchy subject, you know, because we're not trying to make light of anything or make it seem uh, like it's not what they say it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But when you just come down to the basic, when you when you can come down to the basic denominator of yep. the thing, and 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 what it is, when you have a tumor or you have a uh, cancer, and 
the body has located this this bacteria or this viruses in toxins and have arrested them. Mm -hmm. And it appears like a growth. Yes. Now, if your systems are not all working like they should, that thing will grow. You know, or or they start, you know what I mean? That, that's what it is, basically. The body trying to protect you from a thing. Mm -hmm. yep. That's what it is. That's why it's so important to have your lymphatic system working. It works in conjunction with your respiratory system, your exactly. digestive system, your nervous system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other system we got? Your your uh your your blood system. You know, it helps all of those systems to work as they should. It's like the it's like um when you have a vacuum cleaner in the house and you have dust that's settling in the carpets, dirt and stuff that spill, you got a vacuum cleaner, but it's sitting over there in the corner. Yep. What's continuing to happen? You're continuing to get dust and dirt and stuff you can see, stuff you can't see mm -hmm. that's building up. And until yep. you get that yeah. vacuum cleaner working and actually doing its job in each room of the house, you're going to have a problem, right? Yes. And when you think of it that way in your body, those things show up like lupus. They show up like arthritis. They show up like yeah. glaucoma. They yep. show up like a whole host of autoimmune conditions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With inflammation being at the as the common denominator of them all. They show up as something, all kinds of things they call something itis. That yes. itis on the end means inflammation is the issue. Exactly. Yep. Yep, that's true. That's true. And so I, I, I wanted to um um I wanted to go back to something that you said, which I thought was very, very interesting. Um, the way you put it, because you talked about, you know, okay, I'm not a medical doctor, and uh what I'm saying here, let me uh, let me unshare the screen. And and what I'm saying is I, I'm basing what I'm saying on what I know, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and and I I really like to make sure that people see the the black and white, you know, because people mm -hmm. oftentimes only believe what they see in print, okay? Mm -hmm. So I like to make sure that people, when I make a statement, that you see it in print, okay? So. This information that I'm giving you is from the IllinoisScience.org, okay? And, and I said I made a statement earlier, and I like to back it up in print, okay? That chemotherapy is the delivery of toxic drugs into the body with the side, with the sole purpose of killing rapidly dividing cancers. But unfortunately, it also destroys other cells that divide quickly, including Healthy cells. The, the hair, your nails and all that. That's why your nails turn black. That's why your hair fall out. And so um, the Illinois science also said this, and I'm just going to pull it up on the screen because facts are facts and I like to deal with them. Okay. You know, it, the, the fact is that many people go through chemotherapy and I'm not saying don't go through it, uh, but it is a poison. So for those of you that, that heard me say it, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to tell anybody how to live their life. That's your choice, but it is a poison. So when you put it in your body, remember that poisons do what poisons do, you know, like mustard gas in 1970, you know, British troops used it in Belgium. And so what did it do? It caused a chemical reaction in the body. Okay. So that's all I'm saying. If you put a chemical in your body, you're going to have a reaction. Hill. And let me tell you what happens. Your, your blood is your blood circulating through the body. I have to give you um, this uh, diagram that I have because it'll help, help me to explain it better next time mm -hmm. we do something like this right but it the um the blood blood vessel has capillaries little tiny mm -hmm. holes yes little tiny holes where the oxygen 
and the nutrients mm -hmm. uh, are distributed throughout the body. And so sometimes the blood protein and the when the blood protein goes uh, out of the the blood uh, out of the blood cell, water follows it. Water in the blood follows that blood protein. But then mm -hmm. it's it comes back, it goes in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, yeah. really fast, all throughout the body, distributing oxygen and nutrients. And sometimes those blood proteins and fluid will get trapped. Mm -hmm. But then if the lymphatic system is working properly, it just vacuums that out, mm -hmm. allows the oxygen to remain, and then it, it carries it, you know, it does what it's supposed to do with it. Right. But when it's not doing that, when you take a poison, the poison has the same effect upon the body as uh, like shock. And what happens is it causes those blood proteins to seep out of the bloodstream, pour mm -hmm. it around like, it, like a rush of it to pour around your cells. Mm -hmm. And if your lymphatic system is not working properly, it's going to cause that trap, that stagnation is going to cause it to get trapped. Mm -hmm. So it's the same, it's the same issue, you know, um, that can be, uh, brought on by different drugs, like you said. Yeah. So um, we got a bunch of folks chiming in, and I want to bring them up on the screen um, to to just say thank you for being here first and foremost. Um, and and Hillary, you're you're spot on. I love how you broke down uh, and keeping things in layman's terms for people as you talk about these issues. And you know, everybody want to everybody want to show their stuff. I do have those tinctures though, but you did talk about the capillaries uh, and, mm -hmm. and you talked about how they work. And so we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back and we're going to talk about a little bit more about what, what we're talking about today, why the lymphatic system is important, how you can get it to work for you. And of course we go deep. We talk, we've talked about the capillaries. We've talked about uh, chemicals entering into your body and why it's so important to have a healthy immune system. And guess what? Your lymphatic system is almost like an alarm that tells you if something's going on in the body, especially when there's inflammation in your body. So Miss Hillary and I will be back in a quick minute and please come on in, like, share, start a watch party and come on, get in where you fit in because we've got room all around our table for you. And we're only 15 minutes away from the top of the hour. But if you have a question, please go ahead and put it in the chat and we'll be right back. Woo, I've got the queen of the lymphatic bounce here with me today as we are talking about the lymphology in me making your lymphatic system work for you with the queen of the lymphatic bounce that's right lymphology in me make your lymphatic system work for you only here at lotus Rache ignite come on in All right, so Hillary, someone said we need to pay one more bill and keep it real. So I said, okay, I'm not DJ Mike J, so I don't have no wheels of steel, but I like to keep it real. So we'll be right back. Hi, busy women leaders. I'm talking to you. Are you juggling your family, your business, your career, and your health? Afraid that if just one ball drops to the ground, everything could fall apart because everybody's looking at you. You're stressed and overwhelmed. You're looking for answers, for help that's real help, for solutions. I have Vibrant Life Solutions that can help you. I am Hillary Gooden, the Vibrant Life Coach, author, speaker, lymphologist, and pastor. I empower busy women leaders with strategies to reduce stress and anxiety while increasing energy, clarity of mind, better sleep, better health, and vitality. Oh yeah, and boost your immunity. If you are ready for that, you say, you know, I need that in my life right now. Let's connect. You can reach me at www.hillarypudding.com. You can direct message me on Facebook or LinkedIn at Hillary Gooden. Or else if you would like to get on a 
free 20 minute strategy call, a clarity call, go to bit.ly forward slash Hillary Gooden. That's bit.ly forward slash Hillary Gooden. I absolutely believe you got the power to help your body help you live a more vibrant life. All right, and we are back, Hillary. We got a hot topic today, folks, and it is called Lymphology and Me. Make your lymphatic system work for you with my wonderful guest, the knowledgeable, the enlightened Miss Hillary Gooden, the queen of the lymphatic balance. And so, Hillary, we got several people streaming in. Let's go ahead and look at what they're saying. I see Sarah Beth. Okay, so we mm -hmm. go ahead, Hill. Hey, Sarah. Said health is wealth. Absolutely. It absolutely is. Tandra Price. She says, good information. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sean Siegel, facts are good, Lotus. All right. Fantastic. And Sean's coming in all the way from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, yes. Good to see you, Sean, always uh, coming in, giving positive energy. Now, that brother... He is a powerhouse of knowledge. Definitely got to hear from him. He's amazing. So he said, yes, chemo is a poison. Personal experience in my case for cancer. It's bad for the body, but is also bad for the cancer. Wow. 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 So Tandra Price said, hello, ladies. All right. Fantastic. Uh, and of course, we got Nikki Hammer. She said, I'm born with asthma. So how can I control the asthma attack? The asthma attack. So as an asthmatic, I can speak to that. But as a lymphologist, that's not my lane. So I'm going <laughs> to defer that part to Miss Hillary. And then I'll tell you what I've learned from my personal uh, experiences. Miss Hillary. Okay, well, learning to breathe properly, uh, Nikki, is one of the first things. And real simple, we should be breathing in through our nose and out through our nose. Who knew? <laughs> you know, <laughs> they tell us to breathe in through our nose. And I used to say it too. And in some cases, if you're doing like strenuous uh, mm -hmm. exercise, you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. But generally, and until you can catch your breath, and then you continue on breathing in through your nose and out yes. through your nose. That's what it, it's intended for. Because yes. it does three things God intended the nose to do. It filters the air. It warms the air. And then this is the kicker. The body knows how much air is needed for the lungs at any given time we tend to do what's called over-breathing. They call it asthma. You know, when, you, when that, that situation is going on. Yeah. And when you try to catch your breathing, you end up over-breathing, you know? Mm -hmm. So training yourself, the way you breathe it during the day is the way you breathe while you sleep. If you're a mouth breather, that's another term you may have heard. If you're a mouth breather in the day, you're going to be a mouth breather when you sleep. So to pra you practice it during the day. I mean, with intention to, to, to be aware of how you're breathing, breathing in through your nose, out through your nose, in through your nose and out through your nose with your mouth closed. Uh, you know, it's like close your mouth and really live you know, because it's going to help you tremendously. I, I don't know how to put it any deeper than that. When your tongue is at the roof of your mouth, your mouth is really closed. When yeah. your tongue is not at the roof of your mouth, you got a situation going on where air is coming in. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I, I like that. I like that. And so I'm, I'm going to give you something really quick that I know helps people with asthmatic conditions. So a lot of times people will have asthma uh, attacks because they get a lot of mucus or what some people call phlegm in their lungs. And so if you 
have something called bladder rack and sea moss. Bladder rack and sea moss. You can make a tea out of the bladder rack and sea moss and put them together. They work great together because the bladder rack, what it does is it helps to clear out uh, your lungs and in your body, and it helps to uh, clear out the toxins in your body. Whereas the sea moss, and, and it tastes like sea, okay? It has a fishy taste to it. And you can get the kind you can put in a tea, or you can get it powdered in powder form and put in your, your smoothies like I do, but I drink the tea and the smoothie. And the sea moss itself has about, I want to say about 96 of the necessary minerals that we need. And what they do in conjunction, the bladder rack and sea moss, it will help clear the lungs. I have a friend right now, he is distributing bladder rack and sea moss all over the country, especially for those who are suffering with COVID. Because one of the things that has surfaced with COVID is a problem with the lungs. And bladder rack and sea moss is all natural. Okay. Because that's what you talked about earlier, Hillary. You know, God has given us what we need right here on this planet to, to help overcome some of the illnesses that we're faced with. So that's a great question, Nikki. Thank you for answering that question. I hope that helped to serve you. There are a myriad of things. Yeah, I see you, Hill. There are a myriad of things <laughs> we can tell you about asthma and how to maintain it, like exercise, proper diet, stay away from cheese, yeah. especially if you're a woman of color, uh, because dairy products are not always our best friend, especially if you're an old type you know, uh person but that that's that's a show for another time so maybe we'll do a show about <laughs> asthmatics because i know a lot of asthmatics okay and they can come on and give us some help with that so hillary okay. you wanted to also say something in, to her point well I, I was saying a breathing technique i just wanted to give a quick a quick breathing technique something that i do and okay. uh and it, it helps so you're going to breathe you're going to close one nostril then you're going to breathe in through the one that's open. So you breathe in, hold it, close the other nostril, and breathe that air out. So now, and then you're not hearing it because I'm not breathing through my mouth. I'm breathing through my nose. So you're going to breathe in, hold it, breathe out. Breathe in, hold it, breathe out. Like that. And you'll find that when you're first doing that, like you can take, you know, you can breathe in strong, but you'll find that as, as your air, your lungs are getting the proper amount of air that is needed for right there, that the breaths become much calmer until you find yourself almost in a, a, a total space where you can just meditate and go into prayer, or get some sleep. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, hey, mm -hmm. hey, y'all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, checking it out. It'll, it'll, it'll yeah. bring you to, you yeah. know, a good place. Woo. But and your and lungs will let you before, know. So, yeah. Your, your lungs will let you know when, okay, we're good right now. Yes. Yeah. You know. So we got Alicia Winfield. Good to see you, Alicia. I hope this topic is hey, helping Alicia. you out today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop them in the box. And we see the money doctor himself. He said, loving this, Mr. Dexter Saller, loving this very informative conversation. The two major areas of our well-being that we must take personal responsibility for are our physical health and our physical wealth. Well-being, Dexter Salah, aka the money doctor. Good to see you, Doc. Always happy to see you. And of course, Angela, what did she share, Hill? She said, I used to have my phone near me when I sleep, but not anymore. Yeah, that that that, that electromagnetic field is, is serious. Yes. Yeah. So so what uh what what is uh what is our next viewer saying? Well, then this is, she says, not, is that narrow? She says, I sleep beside my phone. Oh, put your phone on the other side of the room and then go get in the bed. <laughs> yeah. You know, Hill, I, ha I have a friend of mine named Donna about two years ago when she went to uh, the doctor, the doctor told her, uh, Donna, try to take your phone because she's a very busy businesswoman. 
and you know she's always working and the doctor said donna take your phone and take put it at least five feet away from you if you can sleep with that phone and and and, and for me i say Try to sleep with it outside of your room. Don't don't bring any electronics yeah. into your room if you don't have to, because it really disrupts the sleep. The electromagnetic energy around it is not good for you as well. And there's scientific proof that 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 yes. reports that. So um, we got another comment. Who else we have, Hill? He says uh, Juan says I agree. The key of a good health is our oxygenation. That's what it, you know what? That's what everything is about. When you do yoga, it's about breathing and getting the oxygen in. When you do aerobics, aerobics, do you know what aerobics means? The intake of oxygen. Wow. That's what it means. Wow. <laughs> so wow. breathe, just breathe properly. You know, it's all about all of the different things that, that are done, the different arts are about getting oxygen, about oxygenating the body. Because oxygen, that's the life right there. That is wow. the secret sauce. Yes, that is the secret sauce. Thanks, Juan. Can't hear you. I was Can't saying, you. yeah, you're right. You oxygen is the secret sauce. Um, you, you got to have that oxygen. You can't live without it. You know, so yeah, that's great. So let's look here, Hillary. We've got another comment. Uh, what this is, is one? He said, "This is an important information. Thanks for sharing for sharing with us. You're so welcome. Awesome, awesome. So, um, very quickly, um, I want to share a video with you all. Those of you that are going to sleep with your phone, I'm yeah. going to share this video with you. Uh, I'm gonna put the link right here, and maybe somebody can copy it." Um, um, here, let me put it right here. I'm gonna put it right here in the comments. Go ahead and check this video out. And I don't mind playing a little bit of it for you. And of course we don't own the rights to this video. Um, so we're going to just put it right here. And we're going to give credit to where credit is due. We're going to share a little bit of this video with you as a quick break. And then um, then we're going to come back with some final words of wisdom because I got to tell you, uh, Hillary, you did it again. You came on, you dropped the mic. And um, I, I just very, very enlightening conversation today about why we must allow our lymphatic to work for us because guess what like i said earlier starting out every every you know we got things we got people around us that are already not working we gotta have something that's working <laughs> well, we for work. us right <laughs> that's working for us and not against us so um yeah that's what i'll say so here i'm gonna share this with you all um as we share this video with you so give us a quick minute and we're gonna bring this video up and again, we're not medical doctors. Uh, we can only tell you what we know from our personal experiences. And we also bring the science behind what we say by sharing with you where this information is extrapolated from so that even if you need to talk about it, you know, you can have some basis to stand on and some knowledge. But I always tell people, make sure you do your own homework because knowledge is not power unless you put it in action. And again, we, you know, we are not medical doctors. So please consult with your physicians prior to taking any supplements or doing any exercise that you might see us do. And we don't, you know, we don't claim that any product or anything is going to cure you or diagnose you or prevent or heal any ailments. But what we do know is that we know what we know and we're sharing what we know. So uh, if you are on medication for chronic severe disease conditions, consult with your physician before taking any medications or supplements or even natural herbs. Uh, but one thing I know, God made, you know, we used to, you, you ever had folks, Hillary, when you was little, they would say God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. 
they would take it and kiss it up to the sky, brush the dirt yeah. off, and just eat it. And you know, them kids just never died from that kind of stuff. So, you know, mm -hmm. um, what well, our nutrients come from the earth. So we're going to jump right into this and share a couple things for you, for those of you that sleep with your phones. Uh, and again, we don't own the rights to this video. The credit is below. So that in and of itself right there, especially for you guys out there that want to have families, uh, that want to have kids, that should tell you something. So for those of you that sleeping with the phones next to your head, there you have it. And again, we don't own the rights to this video and I double dog dare you to go ahead and get in where you fit in. I put the link in the comment already invest in yourself and finish watching the video and thank you also to the creators of this video of what happens if you sleep next to your cell phone uh that's what i looked up and hey this is a little bit of what happens when you sleep next to your cell phone so i just wanted to throw that in there for those of you that's sleeping with your cell phone right next to your head i've done it too i've slept with it in my bed um so you're not the only one uh but you know, invest in yourself, spend a little time. It's only like three minutes and 10 seconds for you to learn the do's and don'ts. And if you uh, are trying to keep your sperm count up, uh, you might want to stop sleeping with the phone next to your head. So, Hill, <laughs> what are your thoughts yeah. about that? Yeah, it's, it's very real because it can affect your DNA. Yes. You know, that that, <clears throat> that electric, electric, that electric magnetic field that you can't see and when you right. think about when nowadays is 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 and it's not going away right you know we all have all kind of electronic devices and yeah. tvs and those yeah. signals come through the bricks yeah so so check this if out they can come through the bricks they can come yeah. through your flesh like nothing exactly so hill we we had a couple people said that they didn't hear any sound on the video they didn't hear no sound so, so let's go ahead and give Those them some sound. Clocks. So it's just convenient to have them right there in bed. It's also a great way to be sure you'll never miss a call, text, or email. Unfortunately, it may also be a great way to develop a serious illness. It has to do with the radiation that our phones emit constantly. When we sleep with our phones right next to our heads, we expose ourselves to this radiation throughout the night. Research has shown that cell phones and electronics in general can be detrimental to our health. While these studies are not conclusive, they do point to some troubling signs regarding long-term exposure. One study from Australia showed there may be a connection between cell phones and male sterility. This study showed that sperm motility, the ability of sperm to move toward the egg, and sperm viability, the amount of live sperm that can potentially fertilize the egg, each decreased by 8% and 9% respectively. Sleeping with your phone in bed can prolong your exposure to radiation, which may decrease your sperm quality. Another study found that cell phones in bed may cause serious problems with sleep. Using a cell phone in bed and then sleeping next to it can throw off a person's circadian rhythm and may even... So your circadian rhythm can yeah. be thrown off. And this is what we were talking about earlier. I had no idea about the sterility 
had no idea about that. And then Hill, you brought up a, a magnificent point. And thank you viewers for letting us know that you didn't have any sound. We greatly appreciate it. So Hill, can you go head back and reiterate what you said? We're right a little bit past the top of the hour, but we want to talk about this because of course we started talking about the lymphatic system, lymphology and me, and make your lymphatic system work for you. So let's wrap it right back around and how this also plays into our lymphatic system by using these cell phones. Hill? Mm -hmm. When you're helping to, uh, when you're activating your lymphatic system, you're helping your body in so many ways, <clears throat> even as it was, um, even as a, a result of the, the electric, elect, the EM, EMF, <laughs> electronic, electric magnetic field. Electromagnetic you know, field. That, mm -hmm. that we deal with on a regular basis. You be driving through it all the time, you know, because those signals are just out there everywhere. There's no getting away from it. <laughs> There's no getting away from it, you know. And so you want to do what you can do to help your body help you. And activated and maintaining a healthy lymphatic system is the one of the best ways I know to do that because it's gonna help your immunity, it's gonna help your cell, your cellular cell. When you think of your body as cells that are shaped and formed in different kinds of stuff for your organs and, and all of that, we're made up of 37.2 trillion cells, the average person. You want all your cells to be healthy. <laughs> You know, you want all your cells to be healthy, but sometimes that the stuff happens. And what can you do to help? Because your body is generating, you have cells dying off every day. You have, so that's why you have the dead cell situation. Yeah. But those dead cells should be not just accumulating in places. It should be, it should be constantly uh, being removed from where th that's happening by your lymphatic system. So your lymphatic system is key to overall good health and helping the rest of the body to do what it's supposed to do as well. So, yeah, you can't get away from EMFs. It's just not going to ever happen. You know, we're never going back to the way things used to be, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but you can help your body help you. Yes, I love uh, that. To live, and, to live a better life, yeah. Yeah, I love that. And you know, one final thing that we're going to share before we move into our words of wisdom, and this is good. Yeah. Hey, Shirley from Nigeria. Great to see you. Yeah. Um, this is one thing, uh, a word of wisdom that I'm going to use for my word of wisdom. This right here, because this is really important because you talked about this, Hillary, about electromagnetic field. Person can develop a variety of health problems. The biggest concern, however, is cancer. While the World Health Organization denies that there is any link between cell phones and cancer, many people dispute that. Even though the electromagnetic radiation given off by cell phones falls under the safe threshold of two watt per kilograms, critics argue that all exposure is inherently dangerous. These critics urge people not to sleep next to their phones. If a person has no other place to put it and does not otherwise have an alarm clock, they suggest putting it on airplane mode before going to sleep. This will cut down on the amount of radiation the phone gives off while still serving as your alarm clock. There are other suggestions that can help prevent cancer allegedly caused by cell phones. So like it said, allegedly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, you got to know your body, know your systems and know what systems not to put next to your head or even in your room when you're sleeping at night. So with that being said, again, we do not own the rights to that video. I'm humbly honored and thankful that we were able to use that video. Um, and I've put it in the, the comment so that you all can grab that video as well and invest in yourself and take a look at it, okay, for yourself. So Hillary, uh, we're about at our time. And I think that uh, I've had a wonderful time, first and foremost, because yeah, the lymphatic system, awesome. The lymphatic yeah. system, it, it, it just branches off into so many different parts of the body and it opens up a huge can of hmm, things that make you go, mm, mm, 
Mm. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you for being here with me today and exploring this wonderful topic of lymphology and me, make your lymphatic system work for you. And so Hillary, I like if if possible, I like really for you to come back maybe once a month on the Ignite show to talk about the lymphatic system. And as you know, I'm, I'm doing some shows at the 11 o'clock hour as well as 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we are talking about health uh, and how people can overcome some of the disease that has their body diseased, if you know what I mean. So um, Hillary, again, I want to thank you for being here. Would you please share your final words of wisdom when we come back with everyone that's out here so that they can hear you share your final words of wisdom. So we're going to take a quick break, come back with our final words of wisdom. Be blessed. We'll be right back. It's the Lotus Rache Ignite Show as she presents her fabulous guest, the Queen of the Lymphatic Bounds, Miss Hillary Gooden. As we discuss... Lymphology and me make your lymphatic system work for you. Only here at Lotus Roche Ignites. Ignites, 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 ignites. All right. <laughs> Fantastic. So we are super duper happy to be back with my phenomenal guest, the queen of the lymphatic bounce herself. Miss Hillary Gooden. Now, Hillary, thank you so much. Would you please have your final words of wisdom for this broadcast? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, I'm always talking about you got the power to help your body, help you live a more vibrant life. And I, I, I really, when I say I absolutely believe that, I absolutely believe that. And because I know that there are things that you can do, like Today, we talked about breathing, learning how to breathe properly and why you should breathe properly and how that helps the lymphatic system. And just knowing that doing some simple things, you can actually cause your body to be in position to do what it will do naturally, because it already knows what to do to keep you alive, to keep you healthy and to keep you whole. But we have to take a responsibility. One of the guests said we have the, a responsibility. And yes, when you take the responsibility to help your body so that it can in turn help you, when the little bit that you will do, the body knows what to do on the other end. And it's happy to do it because it, that's its sole purpose. So as you learn how to do what to do, it's only going to work for you if you actually do it. So with that, I just say, you know, learn all you can and then do what you can, especially in this uh, time that we're living in right now that, um, you know, you want to stay as healthy as you possibly can. You want to boost your immunity as much as you can that in ways that are easy, natural and drug free. You got the power to help your body help you live a more vibrant life. That's it. Awesome. I love it. I love it. And so, folks, my final words of wisdom to you are these. It's unequivocal that being healthy is a wealth that no money can buy. And so, like Hillary said, you have to help your body help you live a more healthy and vibrant life. And the way you do that is by gaining the knowledge and taking the power of knowledge and putting it into action for your health. So I, I, I know that if you do just those simple things to help you help yourself ignite and take flight in the health and the wealth of your life, you're going to be all right. But it takes you to ignite and take flight in that area of your life. 
So with that being said, I thank you for your time. I thank you for your support. And I thank you for your own awareness to help yourself. And so join me tonight when I have an upcoming guest. She is a phenomenal um, retired uh, sergeant major. Uh, she is a author. She's a speaker. And she also is the president of one of the chapters of um, the organization that so many people want to be a part of. And guess what? I'm not going to tell you what that organization is. You know why? Because you need to be here tonight when retired Jill Sergeant Major, Miss Jennifer McNeil comes on the scene and she's going to talk about some things. And <clears throat> this might give it away. We might also do a tabletop. And I know Sean Seagal knows what I'm talking about. So with that in mind, I want to say thank you all for being here. And I'm super happy to see all of you from near and far coming on the show. Hillary and I have had a great time and we appreciate you. And Hillary, let's give them some energy before we step yes. out of the night. Woo -woo! Woo -woo! So, woo -woo 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 -woo! so make sure you join yes. us tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Lotus for Shade Night Show. Hill, what you got going on tonight? I have a show going on at the same time tonight, and mine is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, the Vibrant Good Health Show. So All join right. me if you can't join Lotus or go back and forth. Back and we'll forth, be both glad forth, to have you. Forth. We'll be both <laughs> glad to have you. That's right. And so we look forward to seeing you all tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Jump on board our shows because we are going to have some things that are going to knock you off of your feet. Like Michael Jackson said, you knock me off of my feet now, baby. Hey, <laughs> oh, girl. We'll see you tonight. Yes. What a pleasure to have the remarkable queen of the lymphatic bounce herself, Miss Hillary Gooden, as we discuss making our lymphatic system work for us. Thank you.